Hey what's going on guys, today I'm gonna show you how to add YouTube video on your WordPress website. I will show you 3 different ways to embed YouTube videos. At the end of the video I will tell you which method should you pick among these methods and why. So before starting this tutorial hit the subscribe button to get updated with my upcoming WordPress related content. Ok without further ado let's get started. Here our first method is pretty simple which is basically the copy and paste method. Just go over to YouTube and copy the URL of the video you want to embed. So I copy the URL from here and you can also copy the URL by right clicking and click on the copy video URL. Ok so after copy this URL if I go to my post and edit this post right here and this is the WordPress editor here I want to add the video underneath this paragraph. So I press enter and paste this URL right here. Alright, you can already see this instant preview inside Gutenberg editor. So if we click update and go to preview, you can see this video is successfully embedded in this blog post. So after that I want to show you the second method which is by using the embed code. So if we again go to this video and from here we click on the share button and go to embeds and here you can see a code for embedding this video. So I want to copy this code from here by clicking this copy button and paste this right inside here but right now I want to delete this first and here instead of direct pasting I want to press enter and here I want to take an HTML block so I click on this plus icon and search for the HTML block ok I take this and paste this code inside this blog then if I click update and go to preview you can see this video is also successfully embedded by following this way and if we go to the YouTube again here you can see we can also use some customized option for this video when we use this method so as example you can see if we want to start this video from a specific time you can also set that from here like I want to start this video from 45 seconds from here and play this video you can see this video is automatically started from the 45 seconds alright and here are other options like showing the player control and enable privacy mode for this video so after editing this option we again need to copy this code from here and paste this again inside in this html block alright if we click again update and again go to preview you can see this video also starts from 45 seconds right here and here if you want to add additional option for your youtube video you can go to the official documentation of the youtube and here in this table right here here it shows all the options which you can add with your youtube video like with any start time i also want to add an end time for this video so you can see here is also an option available for ending time of the video so if i copy this from here and go to the wordpress editor so here you can see after the embed url right here here is the start time value is equal to 45 seconds which is generated right from here in this code ok so right now if we want to add an additional option what we need to do we need to go to the end of this url right here and write down an and sign and amp and semicolon then we need to write down the option name which is end and we want to set the end time to 50 seconds alright then if we click update and again go to preview and if we play this video this will start from 45 seconds and ends exactly at 50 seconds ok and here I don't really like you to follow this approach because if you make any mistake right here these video options are not gonna work and that may even break your website but if you are comfortable with this kind of technical stuff like HTML or custom code, you can do in this way. And lastly, I want to show you the third method which is by using the Elementor plugin. I really like this method because you can also get more customization options but in this case, it's really very easy to use. Ok, let me show you how can we use that. So you just need to go over to makedreamwebsite.com slash Elementor.
and from here you need to click on this button get started and here it says you to create an account just create an account with your email and verify that so i have already created an account in here so right now i want to log in with that so after login i have redirected to this page so when you first register with your mail address you may be redirected some page like this okay so from here you need to just click on this button get started and here it asks you if you have a website so if you have a website click on the continue button yes okay then write down your domain name okay then we need to click on this button to check for wordpress on our website and then click to install and from here click on the install now button and finally to activate this plugin click on this activate plugin button all right we have now successfully installed the elementor plugin and here you can notice they also have a pro version of their plugin which i have already installed on my wordpress before but in this tutorial we are going to using only the elementor free version all right right now i go to pages and right now i want to add an youtube video on my home page using this elementor plugin so i go to my home page and when you install this Elementor plugin, you can see this edit with Elementor button for your pages and posts instead of the default Gutenberg editor. And where you can add your content in a more structured way. So right now to edit this page, I click edit with Elementor. Alright, you can see this is my home page and I have already designed this page by using this Elementor editor. If you want to know more about how you can create pages with Elementor, you can follow my other tutorial on my channel where I show you everything in details. But for now, I want to add an YouTube video right in this place. So in the left side, you can see here are different kind of modules for adding content inside this area on your pages. So right now you can see this is the video widget for adding YouTube videos. So I want to drag this widget right here. And you can see this is a placeholder video which URL comes from right here and I want to replace this with my video so I copy this URL from right here and paste it in this place all right you can see this video has instantly updated in the Elementor editor and the most interesting part is here that you can also customize all the video options right here from this customization option like you can also set an start and end time from right here and if you want to set the option of autoplay muting the video looping showing the control players and the modest branding which is basically hiding the youtube logo from this player you can see right now this logo is hidden from this player you can also enable this okay and this is the privacy mode and you can also even set the suggested video for your youtube so when your video ends at the end which type of suggested video you want to show right here you can also set it from here all right and then here is the option for the image overlay which is very cool because you can also set a custom thumbnail instead of the default youtube thumbnail so i want to add a custom image right here okay okay you can see you can set the custom thumbnail for your video which look very better and attractive than the default one and for these people are more likely to press the play button okay so after that there is the option for hiding the play button and if you want you can also enable the light box for your youtube video when you enable the light box when you click on the video you can see this video is now playing inside a light box which is really cool and here beside the content tab if you go to the style tab you can see here are other options for styling this video like you can set the aspected ratio for this video also the custom filters you can also set the saturation to zero which makes this black and white okay and you can also customize the size of this play icon and also the color of this and here are also options for the light box where you can also customize the look and feel of the light box you can change the overlay color the cross button color everything from here so right now if we update this page by clicking this update button and preview this page 
and here you can see this video is successfully embedded in our home page so we have successfully embedded our youtube video in three different ways and here i really love the third way because it has more easy to customize options and you are not limited to the default youtube video player design which is really helpful because when you want to keep everything syncing with your brand color or design it will make sense and what I want to say about Elementor is, you are not only use that for embedding the YouTube videos, but it's an awesome tool for building your entire website. And that's why 5 million people prefer to use it rather than the boring Gutenberg editor. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. If you think this video will help you at least a little bit and you learn something new. And comment down below, which method do you really like the most? Thank you so much guys, I will see you in the next video.